Today we're going to be turning your lightsaber from this to this. Basically this will be a tutorial on how to weather your lightsaber, how to age it, how to make it look more realistic, add some leather, add some some really cool stuff to it. Personally I've always wanted to weather one of my lightsabers. Most companies sell this exact lightsaber and I thought I would weather this one because it's a very basic design and we can do a lot to it. The majority of you guys and the majority of the people who are just getting into lightsabers have this basic lightsaber. So I am very excited to get into weathering this lightsaber. I've been watching so many Adam Savage YouTube videos lately that I, I, I really wanted to get into the prop side of things. And I think weathering and aging a lightsaber is the best thing to do to the start. Now on to the things that you will need. Of course, you're gonna need the lightsaber. You're gonna need some protective paper or a protective surface so you don't get anything dirty. You're gonna need some painter's tape. You're going to need some scrub sponges. I got these from Walmart for like $3. You're going to need some spray paint. I recommend getting black or maybe like a dark gray and a clear coat for your lightsaber. Some optional things are leather, maybe some extra paints and extra plugs and buttons if you really wanna take that extra step into making your lightsaber look cool. So before we get into spray painting our lightsaber, of course we have to cover up all the things we don't want to spray paint. So we're going to be using painter's tape to cover up the charging port, the on and off button, all the places where it could possibly get um, damaged. recommend taping the inside of the hilt so that it doesn't get all over everything in there. That would be a nightmare. <laughs> I also recommend covering the speaker at the bottom of the saver with some painter's tape. Definitely don't want paint getting in there either. Just covering that up and then I'm going to cut the excess tape. Now that you've fully taped your saver up, I recommend getting some sandpaper so you can sand it down before you paint it. If you don't sand it down, the paint won't stick as much. All right, now that you've fully sanded down your saber, now we're on to spray painting the lightsaber. We're actually gonna go outside for this just because I don't wanna spray paint inside of my room because I do sleep in my room as well and I, I don't want the smell of spray paint to be in my room. Okay. Hey! Now that the saber is fully spray painted and dry, I recommend getting gloves for this next step just so you don't get the spray paint, like little, you know, like dust. So this is when you'll need the Scotch Bright scrubbing pads. These kind of act like a sandpaper type of thing, but not as abrasive, you know? So we're going to take the scrubbing pads, just start scrubbing away, kind of like the top layer of the paint. At this point, we can go ahead and take the tape off. I'm really liking how it's turning out looking good. All right, at this point, we can go ahead and take off this part. Yeah, so now we kind of have the base weathering on the lightsaber. Now we're gonna go on to adding some, you know, some extra little final touches. So I have some leather pieces. I also happen to have some leather twine. So I feel like that would look really cool kind of around this part of the saber with the leather kind of wrapping around the bottom.
Now I'm starting to add some gold kind of splatter around the saver, kind of make it look a bit maybe dirty or battle-worn. This you really can't mess up because you're just taking a sponge and just completely just going around the saber and not, this doesn't really take a lot of energy to do. So this you can kind of just put it anywhere, really. And then I also have some brown to go with. After some final touches with the weathering and a bit more paint detailing, this is the final product. I am actually really... I'm satisfied with it. I'm really satisfied with how it came out. It looks really battle-worn. It looks really old. It looks like I went to a Jedi temple and just found it underneath some rocks. But anyways, I really hope you guys had a wonderful time watching this video. Maybe you learned a little bit from this. Um, I hope you guys did. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more, definitely hit that subscribe button because I post a lot of things Star Wars related. I kind of want to make this a series where I, I weather a bunch of my lightsabers, but actually I really want to put, I really want to put a blade in it and see what it looks like. Woo! This looks awesome. If you guys ever end up weathering your lightsaber, I would love to see your final product. If you do, definitely tag me in your Instagram post. But thank you for watching, and I really hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye!